Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, let me tell you, it is something quite interesting, something that has been requested by many of you on the forums for some time now. And we had solar panels implemented a long time ago, well, a way of generating power for your station without having to go out constantly mining uranium and you could use it to even charge battery cells. Now oxygen, since that's been implemented, it has caused a lot of different problems. Players having to go out, find ice just to survive. Now this is an oxygen farm and you're probably wondering exactly how it works. Well it works just like a solar panel. We've got the different sort of charging cells so you can see if I head over to this button panel here and I actually release it. So I'm just going to disactivate my jetpack for a second and you can see as I turn these the black cells will actually start to power up to maximum power and if that turns in the direction of the sun it should go all the way out to four blocks so that's going to be maximum production of oxygen so I'm guessing there's some sort of enzymes or bacteria or even a plant life in there that is actually being used to generate a power well not power but using to generate oxygen for the user and the idea is you'd pipe these up like i've done over here so i think i've got one quickly piped up and you pipe them up out to an oxygen tank and that will slowly fill up the oxygen tank now a word of warning with these oxygen farms is they produce oxygen at a very slow level so if you're trying to rely on them to power a whole base or oxygenate a whole room or a number of rooms in your station you're going to need a lot of them and two of these they said in reading some of the information doing some tests is only enough for one astronaut and I did some testing before and you really are scavenging when using these to fill up gas bottles and other different components to actually survive so I really recommend if you're going to go down this sort of renewable energy source you don't want to go full out you don't want to build a whole sort of array of them so it's a really cool new feature anyway let's actually have a look at some of the new settings now, before we go on to have a look at some of the basic features that have been added to the menus, as well as the decapacity of the actual cockpit, so this has been reduced, the amount of oxygen the cockpit can actually store within it, I'm going to show you some of the components it takes to build one of these oxygen farms. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, you can see that it's only available for the large ships, so you can't attach this to small ships, so constantly renew your energy as you're moving around. So you can see it requires quite a lot of material. We've got bulletproof glass, we've got the large steel tubes, as well as a lot of computers, and the construction components are not that hard to come by, but still, it is a considerable investment over an original system that is very cheap to build. You can see it's only five computers, four motors and it's 120 steel plates so it's a lot more expensive to build but in the long run if you get a large amount of them it could pay off now the new feature that's been added to the menu is a save as so you can see we've got a save as option here so i don't have to overwrite my existing world i can have different versions so i could put a slash in perhaps and i could put this as 01 so i've still got the original world but i've also got the 01 updated version so if everyone wants to go back or there's a problem with this latest version that i've built i can always edit it so that's always a nice little thing to add into it now you can also disable encounters that's another useful little feature, doing these little tweaks over time to really allow us to pick and choose exactly what we want from Space Engineers. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with these new oxygen farms.